Hey guys, what's up? Frosty here. Today we're coming back with the Burnley career mode. And guys, it's been way too long in between these episodes. But we are finally back. And something that you guys have long asked of me is to do three games in one episode. And today, that is what you guys are going to get. So if you guys like that change, make sure to drop a like. It would be greatly appreciated. And the support I've been getting is amazing. Thank you guys for 200 subs. We recently got that. So thank you guys for much, so much for that. Um, but let's just jump into this game now as you can see I'm dribbling around with George Boyd doing some four-star skill moves And he's literally the only player that I can do those four-star skill moves with every other player on my team is either three-star skill moves or below And I just noticed that and that really was annoying me So what I need for you guys to do is I need to see as many comments as possible Suggesting players that have four-star skill moves or five-star skill moves even because I'm kind of a skillful player I like to do a lot of skill moves I'm not really like you know one of the best skillers but when I have those one-on-one -on -one situations and I need one I need to get past one player that is what does it for me and having George Boyd is not really cutting it um, but at striker that would be a great position because I'm looking to get rid of Sam Vokes he's just not good he's not terrible but he's not good either so we do need to get somebody that's better than him if he has four-star skill moves that would be great um, but because Boyd does have those four-star skill moves, I'm actually going to start him. And, um, but also, I, I um, loan-listed Andre Jardim. I've yet to found a home for him, but soon we will. Um, he, of course, is our star player at this point that is signed with the club, only 17 years old, though. So we might as well get him some playing time elsewhere. Um, but here we go with Boyd, who recently just got the start, first start of the year, I think. And right away, he's creating some chances with those skill moves. These are the kind of things I'm talking about. Just like, he doesn't get the goal here, but he creates a great opportunity for us to score. We give it to Alexi Bossetti because he's right-footed, just so that he can curl it in to that top right corner. And he shoots it. And I just completely wasted that opportunity. But that was not the point. The point was he created an opportunity that would not have been possible without the skill moves. And those are the kind of things that I was doing. But in the 23rd minute just being careless with the ball turning it over and you can never do that in on world class really because world class will always always take advantage of that um, but we were pressing forward I was kind of thinking that you know Newcastle you know that's kind of a team that you can kind of steal some points against you know they're a good team but I mean it's not like their Chelsea or their Man City or anything like that so I was thinking that we could get some points against them um, and this was just pretty much FIFA being FIFA. So we have the cross. I was trying to get by him. Wasn't able to, but we get another corner. Not mad about that. I'm going to try to do the exact same thing. I'm intentionally playing it back to Boyd so that I could do some skill moves. Maybe get a cross in. Maybe get a goal. And then my own player tackles me. And what's even more annoying about that is he's offside. So we lose the ball. Like, what? what are you doing? He just completely tackles me. But as always, guys, I'm playing keeper sometimes, and I'm, I'm making the big boy saves until I'm not. After that great save, I thought I was going to be cheeky. I was getting a little bit frustrated, thought I was going to catch the cross. And unsurprisingly, I wasn't able to, and of course, they score. And that was made even more frustrating due to the fact that it really took us out of the game. Because here, Sam Vokes, Sam Vokes of all people, scores this goal. And we're back to 3-1, just the late consolation goal. But that would have been more than a consolation goal. We would have only been down by one goal if I wasn't just messing around there, I guess. Because with Burnley, whenever you get down 3-0, it's just GG in the comments. So that game was over. Um, but I shouldn't have been messing around, I guess. So lesson learned there. But we do actually sell Sam Vokes to Werder Bremen for $2.3 million here. Um, I, it was a little bit annoying because I did get some bigger offers like literally right after I accepted it um, but I mean what can you do what can you do now um, next game we're going up against Tottenham Hotspur the second game of three in this episode Nabil Bentaleb playing up against his former team gives a through ball to George Boyd no skill moves needed there but Hugo Lloris comes up with a huge save and in this game I was really creating a lot more chances than I was in those previous two um, in those previous two games this is the third and final game of course um, I switched the formation. I was playing a 4-4-2, the, just the generic version. It's it's just a bad formation. I switched it to, so that now we have two CDMs and two cams. And I was actually playing Kingsley Komen, our loaned player from Juventus, I believe, into the lineup. He's playing at cam, 
and his pace really just injected some energy that we had been missing. We don't really have too many players that are good at one thing. Coleman is good at being fast. He has 67 finishing. He's terrible at literally everything else, but he's fast, and that's something that we can use at this point in our career mode because we're really not getting that many chances. But we finally started getting those chances with um, this new formation change. But now it's just about putting those chances away. And unfortunately, we were not able to do that. But we did get a point, I guess, which isn't the worst result in the world against a decent Tottenham Hotspurs team. Um, so we did get a point. Not the best string of results, but it was good to get back into career mode because it had been about a month since I'd actually played career mode, I think. It's been too long. And hopefully next episode we'll be able to bounce back and get some wins and hopefully win this FA Cup. Um, but that's going to be it. If you guys like the addition of three games and like this episode, make sure to drop a huge thumbs up on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. And remember to keep it cheeky.